As we approached the penitentiary, we were overcome with a rush of what inmates here must have experienced upon their first glimpse. Jamie could hardly contain herself. Hey God, look at this According to the words long written down, in Inferno, the first part of the 14th century poem, Divine Comedy, Dante Alighieri described hell as a place of boiling blood, fire and brimstone, guarded by demons and monsters and wrote that it is a realm of those who have rejected spiritual values by yielding to bestial appetites or violence against their fellow men. From the banks of the Ohio River in Moundsville, West Virginia, I'm taking you to a real hell on earth. This is Ghostly Investigations, Episode 9, and this is the West Virginia State Penitentiary at Moundsville. We began our investigation in the prison chapel, with Heather and Jamie doing an EVP session. Do 
Though we're fairly certain Prince was never an inmate here at Moundsville, Heather seemed to be taken over by his spirit at one point in the chapel. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here for a thing called what? Allison and I moved on to film in different sections of the building. We began in the prison yard, then moved on to the J Block shower room, where I admit I was a little nervous. I figure since we're here in Moundsville, we're out in the yard, I would, you know, kind of get involved and live like the prisoners and get my work out on. You know, I don't like to brag or nothing like that, you know, but I'm kind of in shape here, you know. I do this all the time. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Surprisingly, I did not hurt my... So we're on the JK block. It was used for filming different films. And uh, we're actually in the shower room. And it's kind of nice in here. I mean, it's dark. You're sitting, but I can't see anything. But, uh, I mean, it's nice enough to take a shower. I actually brought some soap. Oh, shit. I am fucked. <laughs> Can you, you want to pick that up? <laughs> Alright, what am I going to do here? Am I clear? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Alright, I think I'll skip the uh, shower for right now. So we're going to explore through J and K block right now. Maybe go up. That looks like about 40 feet to the top. I think we're going to brave it. We proceeded to the infirmary where we were told to offer medicine to the prisoners. We decided to use flashlights to try to communicate. If you listen close, you'll hear bangs and knocks all through the audio. They were coming from above us, actually in the room with us, and out in the hallway. Got my bag of uh, doctor supplies here and physician supplies and medicine. Is there anybody here that needs treatment? Can you light up one of those flashlights? All you have to do is turn the knob at the end. We can't see it, it's really dark in here, so we have to communicate in a different way. So if you need some kind of medicine, could you turn one of those flashlights on for us? Okay. I'm not sure if this will help you or not, but we have some fireball whiskey here. Uh, do you like whiskey? Can you turn the flashlight back on for me? I hate to be a pain in the butt, but this is the only way I can communicate with you because I can't see you. You can also speak real loud. Uh, that little orange light down there, I'll be able to hear your voice. Is that you walking around out there? I can hear footsteps. That's gotta be a human. And I'm going to leave this fireball here for you. It's whiskey. It's really good. Cinnamon whiskey. It's all yours if you want it. But if you want that whiskey all to yourself and you don't want Heather to take any, can you either turn that one out like you just did? Okay. <laughs> You're like, this should I'm coming over to get a drink of that. If you don't want her to, to drink your whiskey, turn one of these flashlights on before she gets over there. She's going to drink all your whiskey. Out. She oh, comes. no. That means she doesn't have to she, she drinks fast. <laughs> I guess they're cool with it. Yeah. I appreciate it. 
we got a little snake too. I mean, this is kind of far out, bizarre. I don't even like it. It's called vaping. It's like fake cigarettes. Are you still here? Do you know what all this noise is? That's somebody up there making this noise? Above us? really loud. Can you turn one of these flashlights on if you know who's making all that noise up above us? We can hear a lot of sounds like walking around. Do you know who's doing that? So before I begin the official evidence review, I just want to say that Moundsville does have spirit activity going on. We had numerous personal experiences, and we weren't recording, so I can't show you proof, but I can tell you a few things that happened through the night that stood out. And uh, me and Heather, uh, we were in the sugar shack, which is like the activity room sort of for the prisoners, and uh, Allison and Jamie were down the other end of the room. And this is a huge room. I mean, it's probably 40 feet to the other end of the room. And uh, me and Heather were walking around, and uh, we heard what I can describe is maybe like an angry cat hissing and it was really loud and there are no animals in there so uh, this this happened about a foot from my head and I mean we both jumped and we both heard it and it was just something that was unexplained and uh, shortly after that me and Heather were down at the same end and uh, Allison was off to our left way down the other end Jamie was down to our right so we're walking around we were just messing around with a the thermal camera and uh, we saw at the other end, we saw Jamie stand up from the chair and start walking towards us. Now from our left, we, I saw another figure approaching her to meet her. And I just assumed it was Allison. So I remember saying to Heather, like, oh, Jamie and Allison are coming. So I wasn't recording, I was just watching them. And I put it down when I saw them getting close, expecting both of them to be there. And only Jamie came. And she said she walked down all the way, you know, through the whole room alone. And I watched another figure in that thermal camera walk alongside of her. So it's just another personal experience that I can't show you, but it definitely happened. As far as evidence that I can present to you, I have three interesting audio clips. Uh, the first one was in the chapel where we started the investigation, and you'll see some of that in the film earlier. Uh, Jamie had split away and went upstairs, and she was conducting an EVP session on her own. And Heather, at one point, was on the pulpit, and she was just joking around, singing a Prince song, uh, Let's Go Crazy. And in the middle of it, she forgot the words. So Jamie heard her up there, and she was helping her with the next line. So in this clip, you'll hear Jamie say, electric word, that is. And she was telling her the next line of the, of the Prince song. So right after that, you'll hear a crystal clear voice, and it, it must have been no more than one foot away from Jamie. I mean, it's close. And... Uh, to us, it sounds like it's saying, and it sounds like a male voice, saying, I hate everything. Have a listen. An electric bird, that is. Play. An electric bird, that is. Play. Now, in this next audio clip, we were walking down one of the cell blocks. And you'll hear Jamie say something like, uh, is there anyone here with us right now that can see us or hear us? And a few seconds after that, you'll hear a real breathy whisper, and it says either I or hi. To me, it sounds like hi. Let me know what you think. Is there anybody here that can see us right now? Is there anybody here that can see us right now? So in this final audio clip, uh, we were in the, uh, the cell block, and uh, it was Jamie, Heather, and Allison were all in the cell block together conducting an EVP session. I was down the block probably about six cells away, and I was running the spirit box. So in the background, you'll hear the hiss of the spirit box, but uh, I couldn't hear what they were saying, and they, apparently they couldn't hear me. But uh, you'll hear Jamie say, uh, something like, uh, are you here? Like, uh, I think she was saying the name, maybe Merv or Murray, something, where, are you here? 
And uh, right after that, you'll hear a male voice, and it says a complete sentence. It just talks, 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 talks. But it's so low, we can't make out what it's saying. But you can definitely hear cadence and a, and a voice. So let me know what you think. Seriously, prison isn't that bad, you know. We get drunk as fuck and, you know, smoke some good dope. And I forget what the hell I else I was going to say. Hello. How are you? Have you been alright? Through all those long, long, lonely, lonely, lonely nights. Just what I'd say. Pick up that telephone 